Hey everybody and welcome to Bottle Envy. My name is Tony. I'm John. And we're just a couple of beerly gawky guys sharing our thoughts on whiskeys, bourbons, and anything that comes out of a bottle. That's right. And tonight we are starting the Flavier Whiskey Advent Calendar. So this is favorite. The Amber Kingdom edition. That's right. This is uh, your, just like your typical Advent Calendar. We've already talked about it. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. Right, they, got, they got this nice uh, book inside. I'll go over that in a second. And look at what we got there. Ooh, we got some glasses. That's right. So inside you'll have two glasses. Ooh, this is tight. Um, That's so tight. I know. Okay, you first, then I'll get oh. my hand. We got two glasses that comes with this kit. Yeah, like, it's even got a little money. Oh, Very nice right. size for tasting. Pretty much the same Flavor. ones that we use. Yeah. And then inside, the Glen Cairns. this year we have uh, a book that is pretty much the, the cheat sheet and the answers to the test. We're gonna be testing one through 24. All the answers are in here. There is also on page one, a QR code. So that's how you got 100% last year. <laughs> I see. Actually, it, it, it all makes sense there, now, I see. There wasn't a book last year, it was all straight up on the app sure. and you had to guess. Um, but the link on this, they uh, you click on the link and none of the videos pop up until the actual day of the advent calendar. So if it's December 1st, you only get to see what is December 1st. You can try December 2nd, but you, you can you have to wait till the day. They only release the videos one day at a time, just like an advent calendar. Gotcha. Well, I'm excited. You ready to start this thing? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's drink some. Cool. And we're back. That's right. And today is day one. Day one. All right, let's open it up. And let's dig into day one. All right. I can't wait. I know. These are... It's like Christmas morning. These are a very decent size bottle of whiskey. This says whiskey of USA. So we got nothing there. Do you even know what this is? I don't even know what this is. Let's find out. So does whiskey of USA mean it's a, an American whiskey? So we're, is that ruling out scotch? Uh, and uh, It says USA, so it rules out anything um, that's not American, I guess. Uh -huh. So it's a... There we go. Ooh, I think I shortchanged you on that one. I'll work on the pours next time. This Would is the first time. You see this? I know. Just because he brought it over. All right. This is complete blind tasting. Oh, I don't think this is American. Why not? It says USA. If it says USA, it's going to be from USA. Now, I just I don't know what it is. Ooh, this tastes, or this smells. This makes me think of, oh, uh, at first I was thinking Irish, but. Smell corn. Yeah, maybe it is more bourbon -y. It's sweet. This is definitely sweet. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's a... That's got a uh, high, high corn, corn mash. High corn yeah. mash. Anything else? I smell vanilla. I absolutely smell vanilla. Take a deep breath. Yeah. <sighs> it's there. All right. Let's give this a try. Hmm. It's not bourbon. Definitely sweet on the... It's not bourbon. Yeah. I don't... That doesn't mix in like bourbon. That's sweet. It's very sweet though. I'm trying to think of what else I've tasted that has this same kind there, of... It's vanilla-y. It's very sweet. It's light bodied. Actually, no, that's... It's not too bad. I've seen lighter than that. <clears throat> so I can see this being a bourbon, like a... No. I don't know. Well, right, the first day is gonna stump us on this. I don't know. Like a maker's mark? Kind of? I don't know. So I taste, it's very fruity. Um, there's like fruity notes in there. I can't really name. I would, I would go with light fruits, caramel. Um, it's a whiskey, it's not a bourbon, it's not a scotch. Um, I don't know, what do you think? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it's probably some type of American whiskey. The flavor's really good. Now, are these uh, brewed or are these distilled at distilleries that we would know, or are these no, gonna, no? No, so it's going to be this, some. So guessing, we have to guess. I mean, what, what's your guess on this? I, I'm going to say it's probably some type of American whiskey. I've had something very similar, like Boston. Mm. Uh, uh, I think it's Bulldog in Boston. It's got a very sweet whiskey I've had before. My wife brought back from Boston. Um, I'm just going to say this is a whiskey, American whiskey. I don't think it's bourbon. It's not a scotch based. Um, 
It's I like it. It's sweet. Uh, it's easy on the palate. It's not heavy. Yeah, I, again, I think it has a high corn mash bill. I think it could be a bourbon. Mm. I think it could be something, again, like the Maker's Mark, maybe, or even I, like a Buffalo. This reminds me of some of the Irish whiskeys that we've had, like that sweet whiskey. Again, take, when I, the first take the grass out of it, of some of the stuff like Green Spot that we've had, take that out of there, and that's like that, that sweet whiskey. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not getting any rye notes. No? I'm not. Mm. I'm not getting it. Okay. Well, uh, stay tuned. We'll find out what we got. Sounds good. All right, so let's see what we got. I think uh, you say it's not anything but... <laughs> I think it could be a bourbon. I don't think it's I a think bourbon. it could be a high... Let's find out. High corn mash build bourbon. Okay. So, this is an American whiskey. This is called Sagamore Spirit. And it is a rye whiskey. Wow. We've just established that I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in this book, I'll go ahead and show you. It shows all the notes in here. And I have to say that I was probably a little bit spot on because the, uh, the biggest two notes were spicy notes and vanilla. All right? mm -hmm. all right. And of course, there, I thought it was a little fruity, right? There's uh, notes of apricot in here, uh, orange zest, and peach. So... Kind of hitting that fruity flavor pretty good. It says tobacco and rye. Did you taste tobacco and rye? Clearly, I did not taste the rye since I said there is no rye. There's color identifications. What do you think? Uh, burnished? Burnished. What do you think? Burnished? Burnished? Burnished. I think it's lighter than that. I think it's the amber. Amber? amber. I don't know. I think it's burnished. Um, well... Sagamore Spirit Rye Whiskey. We'll have to sit down, watch the video, and see all about this uh, distillery and learn more about it. But on a scale of one to ten, we have to rate it. Uh, what do you want to rate this one as? As a rye. Let's let's keep it whatever. If it's a rye, it's a bourbon, whatever. We'll rate it within. You know, I like the type it. Of whiskey. I like the. I thought it maybe seven, six, seven. I'm gonna have to go like with. When I did this last year, I only gave but a few. Nines, maybe 110, and everything else was like that. So, and we got a whole lot to go. But rye goes, there's no taste in rye, it's smooth. I'm gonna give it a solid nine. If that's you tell me that that's a rye, I would, I didn't even know. Yeah, that I didn't a get a lot of rye, even now that they're telling me it's rye, I'm not getting a lot of rye from it. If, if this is how and good, I, and I like rye, but I don't know, <laughs> six, seven. All right, I say it's a nine. If this is how good taste one's gonna be. I can't wait to try 23, uh, 23 other ones. This is yep. pretty good. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are, we already opened up the and box. Let's get just, to our day one. just get to it, will you? Pop that open. Ooh, look at that. All right, so we have our little vial here of our sample and our you finish glass. That? So if you grab your spirit journal and open it up to day one, you will hmm. see that day one is a rye whiskey from Sagamore Spirits, which is made right here in the USA. It's got this beautiful amber color and it comes in at 41.5%. Oh. All right, let's 41.5% into our glass. Boil it around just a little bit, aerate it just a tad, and then let's see how it smells. Mm, we should probably do that, huh? Ooh. So on the nose, you get hints Learning of vanilla, something. honey, sweet peach, nutmeg, but it's still spicy, of course, being a rye whiskey. Ooh, I don't see nutmeg. Jasmine, I think at the end there, too. Right, How do you some. pull that off? How did you whip out jasmine milk? So making shit up. Taste, I get this mixture of vanilla he and spice with some good caramel flavor as I well. I didn't taste the spices. Sensational tones of apricot, tobacco, and orange zest leading into a smooth rye finish. But all right, let's move on to our next calendar. All right, we're gonna open up That's our it? search for the secret spirits calendar. Find out. I think he cheated too, because he, 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 he looked first. Right? I came right. up with some rant. I mean, like, I didn't have any notes. This is the fun thing about this. We're gonna have fun with that, but. Okay, after having done this one, uh -huh. I am calling bullshit. <laughs> bullshit <laughs> on you getting every one last year. I didn't There's get no, everyone. No, 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 no. No way you got 100%. No, I didn't. Come on. I got I got this one pretty, except for calling it rye whiskey. I got I got the notes right, right? Except for the spicy notes, which I didn't really taste any spicy notes. But close. Whatever, man. <laughs> this, is, this is our channel. We do what we want. <laughs> uh. No, last year they did a video. There they was like two guys at... Um, 
they really got into the distillery where they make it. You know, he didn't really talk about this distillery, which I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I would want to know more about Sagamore, what, where it's from. I guess we'll have to look that up and check it out. And actually add it to like a you know full tasting later. Sagamore it sounds like a uh, Michigan. Do so, you want to guess? Your guess is Michigan. Sagamore? Yeah, Michigan. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna guess Northeast Coast somewhere. That's my guess. Uh, it's gonna be Midwest. Okay. Or fine. Mid you, you get there. I get there. We'll yeah. both be wrong, and we'll just move on to the next one. All right. Well, that sums up uh, day one. Um, fabulous rye with Sagamore uh, whiskey here. It was mm. good. I'm looking forward to the next one. That's right. So uh, here's to the nights we'll never remember. With the friends will never forget. <laughs> See how many of these I can get wrong in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, if you are actually doing this at home, please uh, put your comments on the bottom below. Let us know where you were at. If you have this, I know a few people do, but if you got it and you want to put your experiences, please share it with us. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Box, you will find a custom tasting glass as well as a spirits journal to help keep track of all of your thoughts. Spirits and journal. Spirits <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spirits. Each spirits. box has its own incredible lineup. Is this closer than usual? Okay. It's gonna be fun. All right, smoke it, Joe. Fun! And I got my F in glass. <laughs> it's the F in glass. Oh, you so. We said that Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, now that we got that out of the way. <laughs>